Hello, this is Katja and Robin from Quinta Catinca in Portugal again. This December is the first time since we are here that we don't have t-shirt weather around Christmas. Except for a few sunny days, the rain continued. We still don't complain about the weather as this year was the driest summer in Portugal since records began. The wells are so full now, we can fish rubbish out of them and they're even overflowing the entrance where we normally keep the pump. I've had to take it away so it didn't get flooded. Look at that, down there, down there is where the pump usually lives. So it's a good job I took it away. Much water this year. For those of you who have watched some of our previous videos, you may remember that we had the bright idea a couple of summers ago to put some drinks, cans, in a string mesh bag and put them down our well so that they stayed cool. But then the string mesh bag disintegrated and then we had free range cans that we couldn't get hold of down the well. Well, if you have a look at the well now, after all this rain, the level has come a lot higher than it's ever been before. And I'm thinking I can reach them now with this. I found this, um, this pond net without any net on it at the rubbish bins. Previously, Katya had found this wire netting so I've made myself a net on top of here this isn't long enough to reach so I've cable tied <laughs> oh <God. laughs> uh, an, another pole this is actually a pole for putting an olive comb on to get olives out of the trees so I'm going to see if I can fish them out I believe this is finally happening. Whoa. Brambles, uh, bramble attack. Oh, another one. Here we go. Here we go. Look at that. Two at once. <laughs> <laughs> Look how faded it is. It's also nearly empty because it got a hole in it. Oh no. And I was hoping we can still have them. That one doesn't sound good. Let's try it again. If I drop this, I'll be very upset. No, oh, here we go. <laughs> Careful! Ah. This one good? That one? That one feels good. That one's solid. And this one? I oh, don't no. think I'm going to be drinking that. Can we get also this foam out there that Robin had the great idea to throw this in in case the cat falls in? I don't think I'm going to get this. Maybe the next thing in is my oh, oh, phone. Oh, oh, I got Yay! it! <laughs> ah, ah. Look at that! We've got one, one Bambida del Poma, been in the well for two, two years, two and a half years. Look at that. Well, I don't know. Maybe It's not. solid though, it's solid, not like the others. It hasn't leaked. No, it might be okay, no. but and that's half. If this is the last video you see of us, you know what happened. The rainy warm weather we have now is also great for our composts. With all the grass exploding around us and the fallen leaves from the trees, we have a lot of organic material on hand to make great soil for next year.
seems an odd time of the year to be doing streaming. Wouldn't normally do it till spring, but after the recent rains, everything has just sprung up and it's become really necessary. Of course, we have the sheep to help us keep the grass down, but they can't be everywhere. There are only four of them and it's just too much for them all of a sudden. Also, when we do bring them out of their enclosures to, to have a graze around, we have to watch them all the time or they'll be eating everything, even the cactus. A couple of them like to nibble at the cactus and the succulents, let alone having a go at the young fig trees or the, the lettuce or whatever. What we want is two part brown to one part green stuff for the compost. So we've come just outside, all these leaves falling off the cork oaks. They're partly rotted away. This is ideal brown compost. The theory is two part brown, one part green. Something like that. And kind of mixy mixy a bit. The big bag of poo we obtained from a friend of ours who keeps some donkeys. And uh, what we use it for is to top up our compost heaps. And we also put some of it in piles around some of the trees, maybe dig some into the flower beds, the vegetable beds as well. It's all good stuff. Whoa, look at that lovely poo. The soil here really needs the help. And this kind of poo is the best thing you can get. There's no need to be squeamish about it because it's really not like, you know, nasty poo. It's, it's just vegetable matter. Look at that. <laughs> and really doesn't smell. In fact, if anything, it just has a nice earthy sort of smell to it. Oh, it's really warm. Yeah. It's really warm. Seen Monty Python? There's lumps of it round the back. <laughs> what? <laughs> Monty Python and the Holy Grail. So I don't remember that. Sure, it has to be watched. Yes, I saw it, but what is it? There's lumps of it round the back. We've almost reached 3,000 subscribers on our Kintaka Tinka channel and we thought it might be a nice way to say thank you to everybody subscribing. Every thousand subscribers will get a tree and plant it. In that way you can almost feel part of the farm. Our first three trees which we've just got today from our favorite tree nursery are these three here. I'm just going to show you what we've got. These are cooking apples. Katia very much likes to make a cake now and then, especially apple cake. And we've been buying these apples at the supermarket, so we thought, come on, we can grow some of our own, I'm sure. So there we go. That's that one. And then we've got this one, which I've never heard of before. This is a strawberry tree, which are not strawberries, obviously, they're, but they're something like. And apparently they do use these to make uh, agua dent, which is a kind of strong wine. Oh, I'm wine sure or... you can make other things with these. And she said you can eat them as well. Anyway, we'll see. It looks like a very, very attractive tree in its own right. And then also, since this is or was primarily an olive farm, we've got a new young olive tree, which we shall plant. We've got a couple of gaps 
in the olive rows. So we'll put him in one of those. Okay, planting time. Welcome to Quinta Catinca, <laughs> little strawberry tree. Okay, last one in the apple tree. <laughs> There's number three, let's see what will be with a machi era. Welcome to Quinta Katinka. Can you believe it? We have a sunflower, end of December. <laughs> 